tale we're about to reveal began in the late 14th century. For over six centuries, this noble Italian family has dwelt in a vast palace, a testament to their lasting influence. Constructed during Europe's medieval era, this grand structure wasn't merely their home, but also marked a new chapter in the family's lifestyle and prominence. Every member of this household came from nobility. Some were even knights, honored by Italy's former rulers. Their history of governance is evident in the medieval weapons displayed throughout the palace, relics of their past battles. Research indicated that they played significant roles in numerous conflicts, solidifying their place in history. In the later centuries, their descendants reveled in the wealth and power passed down to them. They actively participated in Italy's governance, enjoying lives filled with opulence and privilege. Many had a passion for sports, particularly horse racing and trade, adding yet another layer to their illustrious lineage. Unfortunately, as time passed, their once formidable size and influence dwindled, reaching a point where much of their power had dissipated. The family's unity weakened, and with it, the grandeur of their ancestral home faded. Gradually, the halls grew emptier until the passing of the final resident, roughly three decades ago, left the house eerily vacant. It seems that interest in what remains of the family's historical significance has waned, with no one tending to the remnants of their former glory. We are deeply honored to share this remarkable piece of history with you. Let us embark together on a journey back to the medieval ages, where we reveal the captivating story of this noble Italian family and their enduring legacy. Hello there everybody, welcome back to another episode on the Bros of DK. I am Leslie and behind the camera, like usual, we have Sir Danny today. Hello, hello everyone, welcome. Why am I saying Sir Danny, Danny? Because today the video is going to be different. It's going to be crazy. No words again. Yeah, you're going to see something today that you have never seen before on the channel. This whole house is filled with weaponry. And we are standing today in a noble Italian place. Presumably many, many centuries old. Exactly, we are not yeah. sure. But yeah, I'm it's, excited to show you this one. I'm also excited. It's crazy. We always see this multiple times. Like, oh, this is going to be the craziest. But this one is like one of my favorites. It's on the top, literally. It's very medieval, I would say. Yeah. Yeah. There's weapons. Well. We'll, we'll show you in a minute. Yeah. In, a minute in a minute. Let's just start off uh, with uh, with these rooms that we're standing in right now, with the room that we're standing in right now. We're now on the downstairs floors of this palace. Upstairs is the best, but downstairs is probably where these people lived and eat and yeah. stuff like that. Last years, yes. The last years for sure, yeah. It's only been abandoned for a decade, around a decade right now. So I don't know what this room is exactly. I think it's like uh, it's a half kitchen, half dining, dining space. Room. Yeah, exactly. But as you can see, most of the things of the family have been taken out, except for all the furniture and all the beautiful things that were in this palace. Yeah, decoration, paintings, plates. Exactly. All the plates, they are definitely real plates. Yes. I just want to confirm it for a second, but I'm pretty sure, yeah, look at yeah. that. Wow. Everything is going to be real. Royal Swan, this from England, this one. Everything is going to be real in this house. Yeah. These people were aristocrats, they were rich over the centuries and everything is going to be extravagant and beautiful and yeah. What do we have here on the wall? A couple of lovely illustrations, I would say. Yeah. From, this is from a museum, I think. Yeah, Napoli. Uh, copies. 1958, got another one over here. Another one to this side. 
They, I don't know what they represent. Oh, they represent uh, uh, towns, Italy. It, yeah, Napoli. Napoli, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. From the 1800s. Yeah. Oh. Just, oh, whatever you have over here. A beautiful painting. Oh, yeah, that's definitely a real 1948. one. 1948. Where do you see that? Oh, yeah. And as you can see, it's been eating up. You see the little holes? Yeah, termites have been going yeah. through it. So it's painted on wood. Yeah. Cabinets still completely filled, like we said before. Everything is left from those things. And here we have another one, also hand painted. Definitely a real one. Yeah. Well, he has wow. layers and layers of paint. It's really beautiful. One thing I want to note in this house is that most rooms are going to look bland from the room itself, but the furniture in it is going to be extravagant. But one thing we have to point out here is that very Italian ceiling, that woodwork. It's beautiful, but unpainted. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Let's go through this down floors here. Looks more like a lounging room, a relaxing room. Yeah. We have a piano in this room. Wow. It's, it's wonderful. Yeah, it is. It is. Let's see if it opens up. Yeah, it does. Wow. Ricordi Finzi from Milan, Italy. Ooh. Still blaze. It's very nice. Wow. Beautiful piano. Somebody in this house probably used to play this back in the time. Also have some statues standing on top of there. Lovely illustrations and then painting behind it. Sailor Man. Wow. This is really beautiful and it's original. Yeah. 1930, it's there. I think if you see a painting in this house, you can pretty much assume that it's going to be original. original. Yeah. Yeah. And I also see a lot of metals to the side. Yeah. Looking at the, these ones, I don't know if those ones are the same. Yeah, these ones are for skiing. Yeah. Uh, sports, mostly skiing. This is also all skiing. Yeah. All of them are skiing. So somebody, we are in a region in Italy where it snows a lot in the winter and where there's a lot of winter sport going on. So yeah, maybe somebody in this house. And I also saw more here. Well, they're also all for skiing. Yeah. 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 Most uh, of them. Most uh, of them. Most, this is... It is not like this growing or something. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Very accomplished people lived in this place. Yeah. I also love this huge mirror in here. Yeah. With all the woodwork around it. Yeah. It's beautiful. Oh, have you seen this clock over here? This is uh, this is kind of a grandfather's clock, but modern version, right? Very modern, yeah. I love that they have like a display for a plant down there. <laughs> Looks quite unique. I've never yeah. seen something like that before. Yeah, yeah. Of course, not a wonderful painting. But here you can see that this place is already starting to work on itself. The wallpaper is coming off. <laughs> like over here, you can definitely see it. The old wallpaper is already starting to be exposed. Yeah, there's even another painting underneath. But oh, really? Yeah, you don't even see it. The wallpaper is like covering it. Yeah, fortunately. I think this place already started to deteriorate before the decades that it was abandoned. Definitely, yeah. definitely. Are you ready? But it's yeah. not that bad. It's no, not it's bad. not. It can definitely be saved. Yeah, oh, 100%. Easily. I wanted to say, are you ready? I'm because ready, but are the people ready? Are you ready? <laughs> no, they're not. <laughs> Come into the hallway of the place. The grand hallway where most of the armor inside of this house is on display. <laughs> I have no words for this. I have no words for it. This is probably a collection that has been gathering over the centuries. centuries. And you can definitely tell that all of these pieces are real that are hanging here in the hallway. Can I take one out? Yeah, be, be really careful. Gee, it has touched the ceiling. Oh my gosh. Can you imagine going to a battle? Something like this, it's even taller than myself. Yeah. That's crazy, Daddy. And it's that, completely rusted up. Yeah. <sighs> These weapons are extremely old. Like, we haven't used, like, spears and stuff like that in centuries. Like, 1600s, 1700s, that was the last time we used stuff like that. But probably at that point, this place was already around. Yeah, of course, yeah. This place is 
I feel like I, I don't want to assume anything, but I feel like this place is from the 1400s, yeah. 15s. We don't know for sure, unfortunately. Maybe in a, in a story we already know, but right now we don't. Look at the beautiful craftsmanship in this sword over here. I love how proud they were to display this. Yeah. It's it's something else. It's something else. Yeah. See, there's something inside. Of course, completely full of blankets and newspapers. Yeah. Okay. Wow. A couple of illustrations, even the night and everything here on the wall. It says MCCCC. So is that 1400s? I have no idea. I think it's 1400s. Oh, even more of those spears. <laughs> it, it, it's just so crazy. It it's is. so crazy. And then have a look at these massive, massive knives. I would rather call this even a long sword. I mean, I think it is a long sword. Yeah, it's most definitely a long sword. And I think those were for horses. Yeah. These are heavy, look at that. That little is taller than me if I hold it like that. Wow. Danny, I feel, uh, I feel it's so special holding something like this. It's crazy. You're holding history, yeah. And literally holding history, you have to be a bit careful with it. Because it's all, these are most likely just museum pieces literally hanging here. Definitely. <laughs> wow. There's even a armor, an armor plate hanging here. A shield. A shield. A shield, that's the word I was looking for. So, so crazy. And on this side, of course, even more swords. <laughs> it's... Have you also seen these massive faces, probably for wine, that are literally standing here in the hallway? Yeah. Incredibly carved. This, this blows my mind. Yeah. Every we, single time. We haven't shown yeah. the ones down there. Oh yeah, of course there's, really there's even more. Of course there's more. <laughs> these, are, these are really special, these ones in the corner. Also look like spears, something that you would wield on a horse. But yeah, definitely on a horse to strike. Let me show from the other side, because yeah. it's better this way. Something that you literally would take on a horse to try to kill your enemies. Yeah, absolutely. Look at that. Even the javelin still lying here. <laughs> and then we also have this, yeah, literally this place is so noble that they just could not have a normal coat hanger. They need something like this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, true. <laughs> wow. Crazy. I get tears in my eyes when I watch this hallway. This is, this is it's, true joy for me. Yeah, it's, it's history i have no words it's crazy and i'm so glad that no one knows about this place it's like yeah. pristine secret yes but we're not done with weapons yet later in the video we'll show you even more weapons and probably even crazier ones than oh yes yeah, definitely so let's go further down here now and definitely check out uh, subscribe to the channel and check out the social media we are not done yet we're gonna explore more of these places all over the world yeah and we post more content on our social media so yeah. definitely check it out we're checking out yeah. yeah and here we have another living area I, I, I feel what you said before Danny this is probably the area where they lived last yeah these down floors yeah like, looks like it that TV yeah. it's very modern that's so. like 2000 something like that yeah yeah, we had one of those back in the time. <laughs> Same. <laughs> All these plates still hanging on the wall over here. Wow, horses and landscapes and everything. It's beautiful. Who's that? I have no idea. That's from 75. 75, yeah. That's pretty recent, actually. It's only been 20, 35 years since the place is abandoned. True. Yeah. Could be some of the former owners. Unfortunately, we don't know much about it. Yeah, this one is also from the same artist in 75, so maybe the man and the woman of the house. Yeah. Maybe the last people that lived here. Yeah. yeah. And above the fireplace, we got some nice artifacts left behind. A couple of faces, love this clock over here. Yeah. It's quite nice. And I love the, this oh, grid. This... Fireplace screen. Yeah. 
it's even still some I, wood. I don't think it is, is even a screen. I think it's just to close it off. Yeah, yeah. it's completely closed. Yeah. It's like literally bolted in there. Yeah. Whoa. And then a place where the people that lived here could relax in the evening. Very simple. Very simple, yes, exactly. But one look up and you see this iron oh. chandelier. And it looks like there's dragons in yeah. the side here. With big wings spanning out. <laughs> that's Whoa. that's something else. That's, that's something, else. something else. What do we have to decide? We have a lantern or some sort, and also with some porcelain and everything in there. Yeah. Lights on the wall. Of course, I love that lower one. <laughs> Gotta check that out. Ah, oh, it's kind of a cartoon. Yeah, thing, cartoon. Yeah. Yeah. Probably something that has been made later. Oh, an outline of a medieval town. Yes. Yeah. This, this is, the, is the map. Medieval town. Yeah, this is probably maybe an important piece for this. Uh, because these people that lived here were aristocrats, but they were also all their lives involved in government. Even one of the former owners of this place got a medal from the president of Italy because he did something notable or special. And they were all knights as well, if I'm not mistaken. He was a knight. Not he the, was a knight. The family was aristocrats, but Ca he was a knight. Calvary years, I think you call it in uh, French. Yeah. We are in Italy. Yeah. Cavalier, something like that. Exactly. Look at this painting, Danny. Wow, unfortunately that's been a little bit damaged, but most likely one of the former owners of this place. What else do we got here? A lovely picture of a lady, young girl. Wow, that's one of those lovely old pictures. Yeah. And we and got them. Before you oh, sorry. Like, I'm already I going just want to show these plates because I saw them. I love the, the drawing, the design. But they're really, all the same. They're all the same. Really beautiful. Roughly the same. Yeah. Wow. Here to decide, we got one more room. Let's see this one. Ah, it's, it's just an extension, I think, from that living area. Yeah, I think they, so. They probably had so many rooms in this place that they couldn't really figure out what, what to do with all of them. Yeah. So, yeah. Really nice room. A couple of cabinets in here. Chandelier, interesting. Lovely. Yeah. And Italy, Italy always has these beautiful chandeliers in their places. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. I really like that. Then a massive cabinet standing here. Tells? Yeah, there's some plates and stuff like that in there. Let's see. They probably didn't know where to put everything, so. <laughs> probably. <laughs> yeah. Also, some plates on the wall there, where you can show those as well. And everywhere throughout this house is all these massive vases. <laughs> yeah. All and yellow. Yeah, exactly. Wow. Yeah, it's a similar cabinet, but yeah. I love the vase in the middle there. I love the these parts of the cabinet that has these like engraved roses. Or very interesting carvings. Yeah, very interesting carvings. And here we got another beautiful painting. All blue. Very nice. Oh, this. wow. Oh, what are you seeing? Behind you. Yeah, of course, this side of the room we hadn't shown yet. Plates with pheasants and ducks and... Wow. That is beautiful. I also love the ones to the right here of the, all the ships. Probably they were also involved in a lot of this. Yeah, Italian ships. Yeah. <laughs> but are beautiful plates. They are. And here downstairs, we also still have this room. And I think it used to be the kitchen back in the time. I'm not 100% sure. Yeah, it looks like it. It's a bit overthrown. As you can see, it's still nice. It has all these plates still hanging on the wall. It seems like these people really love to hang plates on the wall. Yeah, and some of the plates are even to commemorate something. Some of them have dates, so they have yeah. places, others are just decoration. I don't know. I, I see also a lot of them are related to food, as you can see. Yeah. Yeah, mushrooms over here. This one's from September 1990. Wow, that's actually not too, not too long ago. Not too long, I mean 30 years, that's before I was born. But yeah. <laughs> Interesting, but yeah. Not much. Not much, no. Okay. 
look at this. This massive archway is gonna lead us up the staircase to the next floor. And that is the most historic part of this entire house. And absolutely our favorite, uh, yeah. if I'm speaking for the both of us. But before you go up, oh, yeah. first of all, I have to show this massive uh, face. Yeah, I do even consider this a face. I don't know. And also this door, because this section could be closed off Whoa. with this door. Can I try to close it, Danny? Uh, it's gonna make a lot of noise, so I just I will just leave it. Yeah, but it's beautiful. Yeah. Wow. Crazy. <laughs> and yeah, and from here also have a whole tree where still a couple of belongings of the people left behind the back, a scarf, a couple of the umbrellas. But uh, yeah. It's wonderful. Okay. You're gonna feel very, very noble walking up this stairway. It's, it's beautiful and it has paintings and artifacts all around it. I think all of the paintings in this stairs, in this stair, are from former um, residents, former owners yeah. of this place, definitely. It must have been. And look at this painting, it's like already deteriorating for a long time. This painting is more than 200 years old. At for least, sure. at least. Look at the cracks that are forming in this one, for example. It's also turning a little bit brownish, I would yeah, say. Yeah, it's losing the color. Yeah. yeah. Wow. It's incredible. This face is almost falling over. <laughs> have to be really careful with that one. Ooh, this one is also very beautiful. Wow. There's also no signature at all on these there paintings. Is. Oh, it is in the top corner. And th that's the same uh, guy that did the paintings on the, the other room. So I would assume it's around the same time. Okay, Affellini it says on there. Yeah. Oh, crazy. And then of course all the knights and everything depicted here. But if we start looking up, we can really see what this room is about. There's even more weaponry hanging here on the wall. And as you see in the corner there, we can see crossbows, swords and maces, I think it is. Oh, those are some crazy weapons. Oh, I <laughs> see some daggers up top. Yeah, and the small knife, the um, sword, swords, yeah. not knife, sword. This is insane that something like that is left behind yeah. here. Never seen anything like this. It's crazy. <laughs> Every it's single really time crazy. we think we explore the most extravagant place ever, but <laughs> it gets, better gets and more better. better and better. Yeah. There's even more. You're showing that? I'm just showing the whole yeah, place. Of course. Because the the paintings are beautiful, but also the house. The upstairs is very beautiful here. Wow. Now we got a picture. These look fairly more recent, I would say. Uh, yeah. Maybe beginning of the 1900s or something? Probably. I don't know. These feel recent, yes. These do. And they definitely were married because they are exact same painting. Exactly, yeah. And then we got a picture of an older lady over here to the side. A painting, not a picture. Uh, painting, yeah. But this one catches my attention. I know it's not the most big one or the extravagant one, but if you start looking at the details and the color, like the, the necklace, and yeah. then the shading, the mouth, the eyes. It's, it's amazing. It's amazing. I just also have a look up in this room. I think that's also very important because this room is shaped beautifully. And I think back at the time, there must be a chandelier that hung in the middle there. This is something that I've noticed in the abandoned Italian places, especially palaces, that the bottom floor is like very normal and the upper floors are very extravagant. And it's the places that they live yeah. are extravagant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, 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 yeah, it's a weird design feature, but it's not, it's not weird. I, I would do the same, the living quarters of the palace that I would live, I would put it beautiful. Yeah, it's true. Like the, the outside is not the most beautiful, but the inside is crazy beautiful. That's true. And please turn your back yeah. onto me. Because <sighs> look at that. You got another chest plate here with two swords to either side of it. I'm just baffled by this. This is the design. 
and uh, with the sword itself. No, you're not gonna take one out. Let's no, I'm not gonna take one. No, 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 no. I wanted to, sh to no, show you. They are those. stuck. They are stuck. I can see yeah. them here. Whoa. But they are so beautiful. The design of them are beautiful. I, I, yeah, yeah. This blade here in the front. In the front. It's beautiful. <laughs> There's an armor in that wall. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. What what a room. Oh. Can you can oh you wanna open it? Yeah, I wanna see what's inside. Maybe more armor? No. <laughs> There's not cushions. Cushions, yeah. Exactly. And blankets. Okay. Like the usual thing we see in chests. There's also a little doorway here. Oh, it's filled with old books, Danny. Oh, look at that. <laughs> filled to the brim with books. Okay. We haven't shown this one. Oh, that looks even more recent, I would say. Uh, no. No, you think it's older? No. Not older, but not as old. Okay, I cannot get over this room, but... Yeah, I'm just gonna show you. Yeah, I want let's show it one more time. That is a hallway. <laughs> inside the first bedroom of this place and I'm pretty sure this used to be a children's bedroom as you can see the beds are very narrow yeah I would definitely say that this is a children's bedroom yeah not only by the color of the room I don't know if you guys can see it's like this greenish aqua color not even mm -hmm. aqua it's not even blue but because of the cabinets oh, yeah. they look like they were painted by children for sure definitely looks like it yeah Oh, and I love those illustrations as well. Yeah, wow. more knights. Oh, it says MCCC. So... Three Cs? 1300s. 1300s. But that's also what I feel like this place is H. H-like, like 14, uh, 1500s, something like that. I yeah. wouldn't say... I don't say 1300s, but yeah, around 14, 1500s, yes. Definitely very old. <laughs> yeah, definitely old. See the brain beads hanging in the middle of the bed there? Rosary. Rosary, exactly. This is, Italians were also super religious yeah. back in the time. But one thing that I have to say that it's ugly, <laughs> it's the light. What is this light? This belongs in the street, not in a bedroom. Yeah, this light is a couple times throughout the house. Yeah, and it's, it's different, yeah. it's weird. Different. Now another one of those cabinets standing here in the corner of the room. With a chair next to it. Lovely chair, actually. Yeah. yeah. Looks very Italian again. You can definitely distinguish the furniture from Italy, from France and other countries, for example. Yeah. Danny, where is this place? You don't know? Yeah, Venice. Ah, <laughs> ah okay. I There's a question towards you. <laughs> ah, okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I thought you were asking, like, you know. Yeah, it's Look definitely it's painted. Yeah, also, the style of painting, I really like yeah. it. Yeah, it's really, really beautiful. I definitely see what you're talking about, but being these being hand painted. Yeah, they feel very hand painted. Yeah. Another one from Venice over here. You can even see the reflection of the houses in the water. Yeah. Really brilliant painting. So let's see. Oh, there's building the cabinets. Yeah. Mm, okay. Yeah. Yeah, simple chair. Embroidery curtains. Oh, the oh. curtains are really, they are twice as big as you. Oh, wow, I didn't even look up yet. <laughs> <laughs> really big. Wow. And then in the corner of the room here, we have another sofa standing there. Even more of those illustrations right above it. Wow. This one has four C's, yeah. So these are 1400s. This is probably how the people looked like that lived in this place. Yeah, definitely. 
There's literally curtains hanging everywhere, Danny. <laughs> so big. Yeah. And we haven't pointed out, but the ceiling is really big. Yeah, these upper floors have like five, six meter high ceilings curved and everything. Yeah. It's such a big comparison to the downstairs. Yeah, it is. I'm just gonna show you up first. Yeah, look at this room. It's so big. Normally I would expect from an Italian place that the ceiling would be painted. But in this place it's not. It's plain. I just wanted to have the focus of the room on the furniture, I think. Yeah, not even the walls are painted. It's no. wallpaper. Yeah. Which is really weird. We stepped into a quite nice bedroom, I would say. Yeah. Look at this bed. It's, it's beautifully made. It has some very unique wood that almost looks like it has illustrations on it. It's yeah. actually just the nerves of the wood. Yeah, just wood. It's truly beautiful. It is. That headrest, wow. Yeah, that's something else. Yeah, illustration above it. Religious. And this was that... Um, yeah, the... Um, certificate or something like that. Yeah. Certificate, yeah. So it's given out by the president of Italy to the person that lived in this house. Of course, we cannot tell you too much of the information that's on here. Yeah. But, but you can read on top that says El Presidente della Repubblica, which yeah. means that's the president of a Republic of Italy. Yeah, it's for the and, Cavalier. Yeah, and in merit of something. So you won't merit. Even officially stamped, signed, everything. Yeah. This, this is real. That's, something, That's a real one. Something very important. Yeah. Oh. And to this side. Wow. That's, That's nice. an incredible piece. Even that clothes are still in here. Yeah. Can you imagine it? I can even still smell these people. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I smell it. Yeah, yeah. Looks like it's been closed for a long time and you're the first one to open it. Whoa. That's a very strong smell. Whew. Love this cabinet, Danny, with that artwork up top. I'm just gonna call it artwork because it is. It is, it is a artwork, 100%. Again, these massive curtains to your side. And then we have these very peculiar seats in this room. I am not sure, I've never seen a shape like that before. Yeah, me neither, they're like squares. Looks like they have compartments in there or something like that, but it's actually not. Interesting. Weird. Yeah. The drawer with the vanity over to this side. Again, in the exact same shape as the bedroom. Yeah. The furniture in the bedroom. And the, the whole yeah. carvings. Wow. And I love these Venice small uh, paintings, prints. We're actually very close to Venice right now, so it's pro that's probably why they have so many illustrations of Venice. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Look at that. Oh, so cool. Such a beautiful place. And unfortunately, Danny, here, here on the wall, you can see the place yeah. is like cracking up. I see hope it's just the plaster work, but I think it's more. No, no, it's more. It's the whole wall, the whole structure of this place. I also love these lamp fixture. Wow. Interesting. And then another one of those very peculiar chairs. <laughs> yeah. I'm quite intrigued by those. Uh, and then another depiction of Venice over here. Wow. Oh, wait. What do you okay. see? I have to blur this again. But there's another certificate for another medal, I think. And it's for a different person, if I'm not mistaken. And Yes, it's for a different person, and it's not just Italy, it's Albania. Oh, Albania. Yeah, these people were probably influential all over the world. They, they just didn't have only have their power in Italy. I'm trying to read this, but it's from Italy, Albanian, and Ethiopia. <laughs> yeah, around oh. the world. Yeah, around the world. True. <laughs> wow, these... It's crazy. It's crazy. The, yeah. the palace that... The, 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 uh, the history that we are going through today, it's yeah. crazy. Look at this. Another children's bedroom, if I'm not mistaken. It definitely looks like it, right? Yeah. Well, Again, very empty and there's not even a light or no, anything. There's none. And there also didn't was, well, never was a no, light because there's never. not even a hook or anything up there. Never, never. The only thing that would lit up this room 
would have been these light fixtures here on the wall. And as you, as you can see, they were put later on. So before that, it was most likely just candles yeah. lighting up this room. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Crazy. And we have the two beds in this room. Very simple beds. I would expect these people, because they had so much money to decorate their house, yeah. even more beautiful than, that, than this. True, true. <laughs> Cobra. I love it. Cobra <laughs> lamp. <laughs> I love this one, it's really cool. I love the painting above there. Yeah. So dramatic. Yeah, wow. it's, it's very dramatic. And if you get a really close look into it, it looks like it's like a naked man dragging uh, a cross. Yeah. You see it? I see it, yeah. Here we got two angels above the fireplace. Again, a very simple fireplace. Yeah. Would have expected like a marble piece around there or something like that. Nothing. No, very simple. Yeah. It's just a, room. a bit weird. Yeah. yeah. A little bit weird. Yeah, exactly. But then, but then, the room next to this one is just crazy. This, everybody, was, I think, the grand dining room for sure. Definitely. Yeah. And it's also like the ceiling and everything in here is so large and it's huge. It's larger than life. I would love to see this whole place painted and then light up. Yeah. It would be a crazy sight. That would uh, That would make this room come to life even more. Exactly. First I of all, I want to point out the, the whole place behind you, the whole wall, has curtains that could cover everything. Yes. Which is really beautiful. Yeah, exactly. Let's check out these paintings that are hanging here because these are definitely important figures inside of this household. Yeah, they're big paintings. Yeah. Definitely important, yes. Former residents of this place. Beautifully painted. And a bit creepy, I, <laughs> yeah, I should say. Exactly. And this one as well. Looks like they're lawyers or something, or yeah, definitely government personnel. Aristocrats. Aristocrats. That's yeah. that's a face of an aristocrat. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Wow. These pieces of furniture that we have in this room, Danny, that's it's just yeah. They're incredible. And they also, if you look into it, they match the bedroom that we saw a second ago. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. These are incredible carved pieces. Like it's Nowadays, everything is so straight, so plain. Yeah. And if you look into it, they are completely shaped out, curved. It, there's a whole personality in that. Yeah, look how they turn and yeah. how they open up and everything has been made to fit. Look at what's inside wow. of there. It's just filled with beautiful pieces of porcelain. <laughs> it, it literally feels like the, that <sighs> cabinet has personality, has this their cabinet. own life, yeah. It has personality. Just the curvature and everything is so beautiful. Wow. You can really cry when you look at it. Yeah. Have you seen this massive clam that's lying here? Oh, wow. That's, a, that's an enormous one. Whoa. It's so crazy. Look over here. Got another depiction of Venice. Venice, of course. <laughs> what did you expect? And underneath it is just a quaint town. Lovely. Yeah. Of course, more plates. Yeah, we have to point here. out that all, all of the doors have plates above them. Yeah. Three plates. Always three plates. Yeah. Let's show the dining table. Yeah, sure. It's actually, I find it rather small for this room. Yeah, you expect something more grand. Exactly. Again. Yeah. But it's, it's a small, lovely dining table. It doesn't look out of place, but it just looks very small. Yeah. I love these faces that are standing on top of Those here. faces are, I have to say, very Portuguese. Very. Yeah, are they? Yeah. Oh. I've, I think my grandmother even had one or something. I'm okay. not even joking. Yeah. That's lovely. And then right above the table, like true Italian style, you can see a lovely chandelier hanging there. And the chain is so long above yeah. there. It's huge. Yeah. These crystal chandeliers are something, yeah. something else. They are. And the table, like the table is rather small, but if you look into it, like the whole leg is designed 
Whoa. And a table. Wow. Incredible. Yeah, this must have been a lovely oh. place. Sorry to interrupt you. Recordação de Fátima. Oh, souvenir yeah. of Fatima. I knew they were Portuguese. It's very Portuguese, yeah. <laughs> wow, it's so crazy. Must have been a lovely place to have a dinner with the family. Oh, yeah. For sure. And of course, after you had a big dinner, you could relax over here on these sofas. Beautifully carved sofas. This, even the, the sofa and the upholstery is like... Yeah. Very beautiful. Something else. What do we have here? Some well, sort of a tapestry? Yeah, it looks like a tapestry, but it looks also something like it's painted or something. Yeah. Mm, okay. Right above there, we have another painting. A beautiful town. Oh, yeah. And to either side. And I would say that this looks kind of new. Yeah, it does. Right? These, are these the same as the people that we saw downstairs? In the, mm, I don't oh, think so. It's painted by the same person, so they were definitely married and they were definitely together. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. I have no idea. Maybe the last owners. <laughs> Maybe. Again, three plates above the door, <laughs> in usual fashion. <laughs> oh, oh, wow. I know. Wait, oh, the bottom one is the same. It's the same as the other side, right? So it's probably just a print. Yeah. And here we have another wonderful cabinet. It's the exact same as the other one. Yeah. <gasps> you, you could make two of the same. <laughs> it's crazy. Wow. But one thing that I have to point out, look at this fish, something. This is a swordfish. Oh, it's so small. But it's made out of it's, some sort of a material. It's or wood, right? Or I think it's ivory or something. Ivory? Yeah. Wow, OK. It's so or it's made from a horn. I think it's more made from an animal horn. Ivory. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I don't know. Wow. That's so crazy. Okay. I'm just going to show you an overview of this room again. <laughs> it's so grand. It's so crazy. <laughs> Come inside. And get in a quiet little bedroom. Yeah. Look it's at so, that. It's so crazy that the bedroom is connected to, <laughs> to the dining place. All the rooms are like connected to each other. Yeah, it feels like a, a French castle. <laughs> yes, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lovely little bedroom, very decayed already. A lot of wallpaper is peeling everywhere, as you can see. Yeah. Definitely has not been used in the last 10 years or, or more than that. Yeah. I love this red color of the bed. It's like it sticks out. It's like red very vibrant red yeah yeah and a very small detailed painting in there or no not detailed like it's i mean simple painting yeah it's kind of to look like flowers or something yeah. yeah the rosary like usual fashion in the middle there wow and yeah you can see that the wallpaper has definitely been falling off over time yeah i think even the wall has been falling off yeah. I think this is the worst room in terms of oh, decay. Yeah. This if you definitely look. is the worst room. Yeah. But it's not too bad. It's, it's repairable. It's okay. It's, it's repairable. Fine. I hope they will do something with this place at some point. Yeah. I also hope so. Yeah. It's really beautiful. Even over here, this whole sheet of wallpaper fell off. And we got an illustration over there. Oh, what do you see? Look at this oil lamp. Is it made from like a liquor bottle? No, it's not. Caspa del Contadin. Probably a very old company who made like oil lamps. Yeah, probably. Oh, cool. That's nice. Very cool room. And this place keeps going and going. Yep. Never stops. In between, we have a bathroom over here. Just like the other side. Yeah, and then we have another bedroom over to this side. Look at that. This one looks in quite good shape, actually. Yeah, very good shape. In comparison to the other one, it definitely does. Yeah. We have a lovely little bed with two beds in here. Yeah. Uh, again, this is iron, right? Yeah, yeah. very Italian. Look to this uh, iron carvings. <laughs> wow. These are some crazy details. 
just for a simple fact. I also love the piece of wood that's like displayed above the bed over there. Yeah, just to fill the wall. Makes it stand out a little bit. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> that door is old. I also love this uh, light uh, mirror combination. Yeah. It's really cool. The fact that I didn't have any built-in cables in the wall before that just tells us how old this place is. Yeah. It's, yeah. All the time before the electricity came to this place, they just walked around with candles throughout here. True. That chandelier up there is also quite nice. Very different from the other ones. Yeah, it is. But nonetheless, very beautiful. Wow. A couple more illustrations here on the wall. It's like this a transport is... carriage or something. Yeah, doesn't have a date. No. Wow. Another one of hunting over to this side. Lovely, Danny. Very lovely, and I love this painting. Oh, wow. Yes, it's beautiful. It's beautiful, and I think it's watercolor, if I'm not mistaken. That's why it has mold in oh, it. Oh, I can mold it. It's really, really beautiful. And there, behind you, we have another lovely room in this place. I love the simplicity of the furniture in this room yeah it's so slim it's slim but at the same time it's very elegant yeah it is it feels like a very chic room yeah exactly yeah, yeah 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 a room where you invite your most important guests in yeah to yeah. have tea or something something yeah. like very small yeah, yeah maybe not a tea room in italy but <laughs> why not no could we look at these wonderful pieces of furniture Aren't they just magnificent? They even have like a gold flaky, yeah, yeah, goldish yeah. color on here. And you guys might think this is cut out. Nope. It's All excellent. the chairs are the same, so that's the style of it. Yeah. This must have been an expensive furniture set. Yeah. It's so beautiful. Oh. I love that everything matches, even the mirror matches the same furniture and also the roses at the top there yeah everything here we got a thing saying ricardo del 1900 no, recuerdo. it means uh, souvenir of 1903. oh i thought it was the name of somebody oh it's actually no. just a souvenir. I, I, if i'm not mistaken if it's the same word in portuguese is recuerdo recordação, which means souvenir yeah oh, souvenir from 1903. And we also have this grand piece, this grand mirror standing here against the wall at the end of the room. But the metal inside of it, that's, I think, the most beautiful piece of it all. Yeah, the, the beautiful painting inside yeah. of it, yeah. So beautiful. And the whole carvings of roses and stuff around these mirrors. These are the ones that they flap. They, they can Yes, yeah, so there's right? hinges yeah. over here and here. Yeah. So it can close up was probably not meant to be inside of this room. Why not? This looks like a boudoir. So maybe. Maybe at one point, yeah. One point. Who knows? Oh, look at that. This, this is actually like a trophy for skiing, Danny. Wow. Yeah, so that definitely matches with all the medals that we found downstairs. Yeah, definitely. 1972, everybody. Oh, wow. <laughs> so a lot of the last people in this house who lived here was definitely an advocate of skiing. Yeah. Yeah. And some more drawings and everything underneath the fall and <laughs> wallpaper yeah and you can see the wallpaper that was here before yeah you got rose wallpaper and then this new color next to it this cabinet is still completely filled look at that and if you look into it it, it looks like there are souvenirs from multiple countries oh yeah it doesn't so seem like up. they're all from one country you know no, why not oh they probably had a lot of money to travel yeah definitely I love this piece. This probably was a, a clock at some point. Oh, no, it feels very fake. Yeah, it feels very plastic. Yeah. Wow. Okay. But then you have to show it that side of the room. And there's a complete tapestry on the wall here. Depicting a lush lifestyle, as you can see. This feels more French, yeah. but still. It definitely feels French. Beautiful. Yeah. 
I love it. What a room. I think we got one last room next to here, Danny. Yeah. On this level. Look at that. And this, oh, I almost fell there, something on the floor. Uh, and that door leads to the dining room. Oh, yeah. So on that side is the stairs. So maybe this was like a hall, a passageway yeah. for, that people used. It's crazy how everything is connected. Literally yeah. everything. Every side of this place is connected with each other. Wow. Yeah, it feels like a sitting room. Danny, we have seen these before. Yeah, in Italy. In so, Italy. So this oh, is... Let's link the video up here for people who want to watch. We have seen like a palace as well, yeah. with a similar style of chair. And there was four of yeah. those, I, I think. And this is the only time I ever saw it, in this palace and in the other one. Yeah. It's such a cool so chair cool, design. Cool, yeah, cool chair. A couple of guns. No yeah. guns in this place, that surprises me. Only I mean, swords and knives. Yeah. yeah. Very... Various illustrations, yeah, paintings, and you see the, the signature is cool. the same. Oh, so that person painted all of the people that lived here. Oh, more illustrations there. There's a similar chair in the oh, corner yeah. there. Yeah, two. Oh. Yeah, yeah. That is whoa, one creepy painting. <laughs> yeah, definitely yes. Oh, and this one I love. Looks like the Italian Alps. Yeah, oh, yeah. It definitely Looks does. like the, the lakes, the Italy lakes, yeah. Yeah. Cool Wait, and I. We have seen this one, right? This person. Yeah, we have seen him before, yeah. He's shown up a couple of times. Yeah, we have seen him in another room, yeah. And here another painting over to that side. Wow. Oh, wow. So you, you, if you go close to it, you can see the massive blobs of paint. <laughs> Wow. There's a small sitting area. Oh, I cannot get enough of this palace. It's I so beautiful. Can't. I just can't. In my wildest dreams, I would have imagined that we would film something like this. <sighs> These people, they were rich, noble and important and I feel like this is something very important that we just documented. Danny, what are your thoughts about this place? This was a crazy exploration. I never thought to find an armor and real swords inside of an aristocratic house because they were definitely really important. Yeah. This, Craziest, craziest place. Danny, thank you so much. Check You're out welcome. Danny's link in the description. Thank you, thank you. Uh, I, I just want to oh. say, please, guys, comment down below what do you think about this house and what do you think about the video. Yeah. It's really important to us to know what you guys think. Yeah. So comment, like this video, subscribe to the channel. And with that all said, I love you so, so much. And we'll see you next week in another crazy episode. Bye-bye.